everyone, welcome to the final cut. So glad you could join us today, everyone, as we take a look at an independent action thriller uh, called A Dreaming Hollywood. Yes, I have the DVD right here. It's also out on digital, brought to you by Frank Martinez, giving us the story of Ray Balfi, who is a drug dealer but wants to make a better life for himself. He has big dreams in LA, and one of those dreams is to take the script that he has for a children's cartoon series called A Dog's Meow. And so he decides decides to pull the trigger, so to speak, and send the script out to a hundred different production companies. Meanwhile, on his heels is a crime boss who has been giving him the drugs to sell that he's been working for, and things aren't going too well with that boss, and it's just a crazy situation in the underworld. And while he's uh, trying to deal with that and pining uh, for uh, the woman uh, that he cares for, uh, that he wishes he wouldn't have to pay for, uh, yeah, he finds finds that his script may have been stolen and someone else is producing his idea. Well, uh, this sends him into some chaos and mayhem as he goes on a rampage as uh, trying to get out his anger for not being able to get out of the situation now that he thought he could possibly do. And we see how all of this culminates in Dreaming Hollywood. Uh, Frank Martinez really giving us a, a, a palette of different characters, ones we have seen before, with a nice little own original twist to them, and that's thanks to this cast that they have. Now, Turk Matthews plays Ray Balfi, and yeah, I loved this character quite a bit. This is a simple guy who's got big dreams, and everybody can see, you know, maybe you're dreaming a little too big, but, you know, you don't want to say that, because uh, someone could take a chance, but at the same time, you're just looking at a situation, and you're just like, dude you may be going about this the wrong way. And Turk Matthews plays this guy perfectly. He's a guy that uh, you feel for, you feel sympathy for, but at the same time realize he's kind of also made his own bed. Uh, yeah, he's also got a dark side to him as well. He's got a dark past to him. So I, I thought that was just an interesting character that they uh, wrote uh, to be your main uh, protagonist. Now, the folks around him are crazy. Crazy. Elliot is the actor's name, and he plays Rudy, uh, the uh, crime boss who is hired uh, Ray, well, Ray and his buddy. And he's an interesting character as well, because one time he's humor, you almost think he's going to be kind of comic relief, but then they pull out this scary scene with the Christmas present and Christmas tree, and suddenly you realize this guy isn't exactly just a goofball. Uh, there's more uh, darkness to him than you thought. Uh, then there's the corrupt cops. One of them is played by Link Ruiz plays Detective Dookie. Yes, that's how they call him, Duque, however you want to put it. And he is a character that you really, you see, take a fall. He's a kind of corrupt cop and things just go bad to worse for him. And we see how he starts to lose it while dealing with all these underworld thugs and trying to make the best of his life while at the same time uh, making some poor decisions, which seems to be the common theme in this film is people making poor decisions and uh, having to come around and bite them in uh, the butt. Now, uh, Yilin Wang plays Charlotte, really enjoyed this character quite a bit. Didn't expect them to take this character where they did with her uh, being the right-hand person of the main crime boss of the entire area where all these events are taking place. And I really liked her motivations and the performance of uh, Yilin quite a bit. Uh, this is a character I wanted to see a lot more of. Unfortunately, with the cast of characters we do have, there are a plenty, uh, you don't get to spend a lot of time with her. But what we do get uh, was very interesting and I really enjoyed her performance. So overall, the production value is decent. You don't have to go high with a film like this, so they're working within their budget. It's grimy and gritty at times, and there's a wonderful, wonderful song that I just loved from, uh, yeah, from DMX in here that you have to listen, because I, I dug it quite a bit, and I, I thought it was very appropriate for the film that we had. There are some ultra-violent scenes in here. Uh, there are some laughing scenes. There are scenes that are gonna, just going to go, what the fuck, <laughs> right? So you have all of that wrapped up in here, Dreaming Hollywood. Now, the DVD, if you do go out and get it, it does have a theatrical trailer, image slideshow. Wow, haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, music video and deleted scenes. Yes, the music video is of uh, the uh, DMX uh, song that's in here, which is just, like I said, it really is great. 
uh, saw in fitting for the film. Uh, check it out, folks. I think it's worth a watch. Get the DVD, the extras on here. Definitely make it worth it, especially seeing what hit the cutting room floor and seeing that music video. Uh, and if you have seen it, please come back. Love to hear your constructive thoughts on Dreaming Hollywood from Frank Martinez. I thank you for your support. Please check out our Patreon if you haven't already. Hit subscribe and all of that. Until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.